God is authoritative and he is giving some urgent prophetic words as it is coming directly from the kingdom of heaven these are the word of god and that i have been spoken through me and the power that he had given me to speak these words yesterday evening after the prayer the presence of the holy spirit was so strong so intense around me that whatever you are about to hear i might confirm you that it is exactly what god is conveying to his people at this moment so i request you to pay close attention to these prophetic words and be respectful to the mighty plans of god before i speak what i heard and felt god spoke to me in prayer let me pray this real quick father thank you for this time in your presence i just ask you holy spirit that you take control of this video from the beginning to the end and that you help me god deliver this exactly how you have placed it in my heart that whoever has to hear these words could find them right now lot so that they can receive the peace that they need and know that you have heard their prayer and that you are getting ready to answer in a very big way in the name of jesus i pray and the people of god say amen now children of the almighty god has declared that he is preparing you now to stoke the fires of the revival just as a liberal spirit has dominated the city god has proclaimed that a supernatural spirit of righteousness will take its place the lord has noted that the enemy has targeted major cities in the united states that once thrived because of what the lord is about to unleash god has declared that he will invade these cities whether it's detroit chicago los angeles miami or new york city with the spirit of the holy ghost god has confirmed that he never loses has never lost and not losing now and will never lose the lord has also stated that he is currently in a phase of regathering and recovering what the enemy has taken from him using the enemy's own strategies if you want to understand what he is preparing to do on this earth you should revisit the pattern of the book of exodus when his children begin to emerge from slavery and bondage and were transitioning into their inheritance and in the beginning there was a period when pharaoh said they could sacrifice but he wanted them to leave the children and the animals behind if that had occurred even though they would have had it towards canaan it would have been the enemy spoiling them instead of them spoiling the enemy so god did not allow pharaoh to let them go but be aware there came a day when god declared enough is enough and the word of the lord had to be fulfilled there has been a hovering of the prophetic word of the lord resonating in the atmosphere over this nation too many of you have wondered why god hasn't done something the lord has explained that what he has been doing has been in secret and in darkness but he is preparing to turn on the lights as he prepared to free his people from egypt he created an environment that allowed them to spoil the enemy their tormentors and their persecutors when they begin to leave so get ready children of the almighty because god has announced that there will be a major turn around 
He is opening the heavens over the church in this hour and will release a blessing upon you, not just in the spirit, but also in the natural. The wealth will be released by the power of the Lord. He will give you homes you did not build and allow you to bypass the financial system. You will not have to go to banks and humiliate yourself by asking for money. Instead, God will make the enemy return to you what he has stolen. What the enemy took from you in the natural, God will make him give it back sevenfold. This is a shift in the spiritual realm. God is breaking the spirit of heaviness off of you and loosening the garments of praise upon you. Even in your natural body, God is releasing divine healings as he begins to release it to this nation. He is releasing a breath of God. After these words today, you will declare that you are healed without the laying on of hands because God has chosen you for this hour. He will not send you into a war with a wind of infirmity, but He is releasing you on the Spirit of God. Also, when God spoke to me in prayer this morning, He told me to prophesy to the people. As I begin to hear the Spirit of God speak, I realized that God has never been silent. I have a lot of things swirling over my spirit and I am trying to figure out how to release it to you by the Spirit of the Lord. I am thankful that God has delivered His words through me, exactly and precisely as it were meant to reach your ears and eyes. Now let's be grateful to the Lord for choosing us for His miraculous anointment by typing God is good in the comment section and allow me to pray this for you. Dear God, I am praying for the person watching this video. They are going through something tough, something that's heavy on their heart. Please give them peace. Some of them are feeling restless, down and hard on themselves. I ask you to step in and give them comfort. I hope your peace will surround them. I ask that all their worries disappear. I pray for those who are fighting with sins they are trying to beat. Give them the power to win these battles. I hope you can change what they want in life. If they want things that are worldly or selfish, please take away these wants. I hope you can give them a longing for you, for your goodness, for purity. Help them to renew their spirit. Guide them into a new chapter of their life. Help them to embrace the identity you have made for them. Cleanse them from all impurity, all wrongdoings, all sins. Help them to change by renewing their thoughts. I hope you can influence this person's lives their hurt. Purify their hurts so that we can reflect you in our daily lives. Help us to be a good example of you. Help us to reflect you, represent you accurately. We hope we can guide those who are lost, those who are spiritually blind. Give them the ability to see and hear in the spiritual world. Help them to recognize your voice. Help them to ignore the distractions Whatever the devil is throwing at them to disrupt their relationship with you, we bind and rebuke it right now, sending it to hell. I pray against every single spiritual attack that's been directed at them. Every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of depression, every spirit of fear, we rebuke it. We don't agree with anything the devil is whispering in their minds. Any thoughts of intimidation or insecurity, I hope you can continue to show them the purpose you have for them. 
We thank you, Father, for hearing and answering this prayer in Jesus' lovely name. Amen. Now, if you have received all these words and this prayer, please like, subscribe and share and give this to everyone you know who needs to hear an encouraging word, you know, who needs to hear the truth and a confirmation that God still loves them. Stay blessed.